class, this is Mr. Tarver. Welcome to Geometry. Let's 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 learn some math. 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 Here we go. Let's learn some math. Okay. Today we're starting uh chapter. Today we're starting chapter four, uh, classifying triangles. So to do that, you need to know what kinds of triangles there are. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, you ready? Magic, just like that. Okay, so first thing we need to learn about is acute angles, or acute triangles. As you already know, acute angles mean that the angle is less than 90 degrees. So guess what an acute triangle is? Oh my goodness, it means that all the angles are less than 90 degrees. Okay, so there can't be any angles in there. So let's say this one to be 70 and this one will be 40. That means this one has to be 70 as well because in every triangle ever made since the beginning of time, all the angles inside the triangles add up to 180 degrees. So if that was 70 and that was 40, that'd be 110. Okay, and you to find the other angle, you would just subtract 110 from 180, which equals 70. Okay, so if you have two of the angle measures, you can always find the last one. Okay, lovely. So that is acute. Okay, so this is a notes page, so you should all be taking notes. If not, you're way behind. All right, next, equiangular. Okay, just like it sounds, equiangular. It means that they have equal angle measures. Only angle measures they can be, if all three are equal, then guess what? It means they're all the same, that's what that means. It means they all have to be 60. So anytime they're equal angular, they all have to be 60. So any triangle, since the beginning of time, since the first... <laughs> Alright, now, last. So that's equiangular. Next is a right triangle, which you're going to use a bunch. Okay, that means it's going to have a right angle in it. That means that one angle will be 90 degrees. That means that the other two angles have to add up to 90 degrees as well, because if the whole triangle is 180 degrees, you subtract 90, which is that one angle, that means you've only got 90 left. So that means that these two angles are going to add up to equal 90 degrees, which makes them Complementary, okay? So that means they're complementary because they'll add up, to add up to 90 degrees. Sorry, I'm stupid. Okay, last thing. Last thing, triangle that has to do with angle measures, that's what all these are doing, is obtuse. That means that one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees, okay? It doesn't matter if it's 90.001 degrees or 179.999 degrees. As long as it's between 90 and 180, that makes it an obtuse angle. Therefore, it's an obtuse triangle. Okay, so for example, let's say that was 107 degrees. Wonderful. Now let's say this was 43 degrees. And we want to find that last angle. Okay, we'd have to add those two up. 150, and uh, then we just subtract 150 from 180. <laughs> Stop. It's 30 degrees. So that last one has to be 30 degrees. Hooray for that. Okay? All those four that we just talked about acute, equiangular, right, and obtuse all those <laughs> have to do with. Uh... <laughs> no, no kids. Don't. That's what we just talked about. The uh, acute, equiangular, right, and obtuse. All those have to do with the angle measures of a triangle. So, goody gumdrops. Last thing we're talking about, yeah, last thing, because we're almost done, has to do with the side measurements, okay? So we got a triangle, all right? Well, let's say that all the sides are equal. All three sides are the exact same measure. Well, guess what? That's called equilateral, okay? E -Q 
Q-U-I-L-A-T-E-R-A-L. Equilateral. That means all the sides are the same. Now, I don't remember this, but we talked about a while back on an open response that the side measures, the angles that were opposite those, there's a relationship there. If the sides are equal in a triangle, that means their opposite angles are equal, which would mean that all of these angles are equal as well, <coughs> which we just learned that equal, all the angles equal is called equal angular. Therefore, these are all 60 degrees. So any equilateral triangle is always an equilateral triangle. Can I just say equilateral? Every equilateral triangle is an equal angular, and every equal angular is equilateral. It means that if the sides are the same in a triangle, that means all the angles are the same. Now, by the same token, if you have a triangle, and these two angles are the same, okay, that means their opposite sides are the same, therefore, those two sides are the exact same measure, okay? So the angle measures shows the relationship between the side measures, okay? Now, we just talked about equilateral, which all the sides are the same. Next one is called isosceles, which means that two of the sides are the same. It means those two sides are the exact same measure. So if that's eight, guess what this one is? Oh my goodness, it's eight, okay? So that's isosceles. Last one. So Katoa, so Katoa. Last one. It's called scaling. That means that none of the sides are equal, okay? Like this would be 8, this would be 10, this would be 9. None of them are equal, therefore it is called scaling. Lovely. Example. Let's find out what these side measurements are, okay? Now, find out what these side measurements are. We know this one's z plus 5, this one's 4z minus 4, and this is 3z minus 1. Okay? Now, here's the deal. What these little marks mean is that they are the same length. So that means that all the sides are equal in this triangle, even though they don't look like it. It doesn't matter. If they mark it, it's set. Okay? So, first off, we know this is an equilateral triangle, because that means all the sides are equal. And it's also equal angular, because if we know all the sides are equal, then we know all the angles opposite are equal. Lovely. Okay, so if we want to solve this, we could just set any two sides equal to each other because all we got to do is solve for z. So I'm just going to set this one and this one together. So z plus 5 equals 4z minus 4. Did you get our z's together? Subtract z from this side. That's 5 equals 3z. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> now, minus 4, okay? What are we going to do with that 4? we got to do the opposite, which is 9. Because 9 equals 3z. And then, divide 3. 3 equals z. So we found what z equals. Lovely. We can plug it in. 3 plus 5, that side length is 8. Plug it in here. 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 4 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 1 is 8. So all the sides are equal. It worked out. Merry Christmas. We got the answer. Okay? And it'll be the same thing if you're trying to find the angle measures and they're all together. Okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> Class, congratulations. You're done with notes for today. That was notes page, whatever the next notes page was. So make sure you have that labeled. And you get to start your assignment, which is going to be... It's going to be page 219. You're going to do 1 through 31. Oh, goodness gracious. Guess what? Have it done tomorrow. And guess what? Okay. Well, have fun. The end. Today, we will learn about acutism and equilateralism and how they pertain to the earliest civilizations of America. The engines. That was the creepiest thing ever. I don't know. <laughs> Just rewind it and delete it, please. <laughs> Is it still recording? It's still recording.